y'all. Welcome back to Amos Farm. Today I'm going to bring you along as I start three different varieties of pumpkin seed. I'm not going to be direct sowing these. I'm actually going to try and start them in the seed trays. I have the plastic and also this type. I'm trying to see which one's going to grow the best. Um, but I have three different variety pumpkins. <clears throat> this one I just picked up from Lowe's because I forgot to pick it up from In My Gardener. But this is the small sugar pumpkin that I can make pumpkin pies with and I have two different varieties excuse me two different varieties here from MI Gardener both of these seed packs are 99 cent each these are the Jack B Little pumpkins and these are the Halden pumpkins and the thing about this is we are gonna try to grow these pumpkins in raised beds will it work we're not sure but we're going to bring you along and uh, we'll find out together. But let's get started planting these and we'll see if they will come up for us. And if so, then we'll bring you back for planting them in our raised beds and hopefully we get a harvest. But yeah, that's what we're going to do today and let's get busy. Okay, I'm just going to start off by adding my seed starting mix to my trays. Probably faster to use my hands. Next, I'm going to go ahead and give everything a light watering. I kind of like to tap it down, see if I need to add any other soil to the top. First I'm going to try the sugar pumpkins and this tray all by itself. I will just take one of my popsicle sticks markers that I have, make a hole. Next, I'm moving on to the Halden pumpkin. Place my marker in so I don't forget which variety it is. Open my holes. Place my seeds inside the hole. Lightly cover them. Next, we're going to move on to the Jack the Little Pumpkins. This last in tray, I'm going to actually put each variety 
and one just so I have extras in case something doesn't come up. But that's it for that. I'll also lightly water once again and I'm going to be placing this Jiffy top on to help speed up the germination process once I see the seeds start popping through the soil or the sprouts start popping through the soil then I will take this off and water daily and watch them grow. We're gonna give it a go trying our pumpkins in the raised bed gardens. We'll let you know how it goes. We've actually grew pumpkins before but it was in an in-ground garden and we actually did quite well so we're hoping this works out and if it does we're gonna bring you back well Regardless, we're going to bring you back and let you know how it goes. But thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment if you've ever grew pumpkins in a raised bed garden. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.